Are you struggling to get your EXO player to respond to next, previous, rewind, and forward events? You're not alone. Many developers face this challenge when customizing their media players. Today, we're going to tackle this issue head on. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when your custom layout looks great, but the functionality just isn't there. You want your users to have a seamless experience and missing event listeners can really throw a wrench in the works. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, how can I add listeners for next, previous, rewind, and forward events in ExoPlayer? They have a custom layout, but are struggling to get these controls to work as intended. Sound familiar? Let's explore how to solve this. So, what's the issue here? The ExoPlayer does have built-in methods for handling these events, but when you customize the layout, you need to manually set up listeners for each button. This is where many developers get stuck. Stay with me, because at the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will make your ExoPlayer experience even smoother. To begin customizing ExoPlayer, the user should implement a listener for the next and previous buttons. This can be done by creating a custom listener class that extends the player event listener interface. Next, the user needs to set up the listener in their activity or fragment. This involves attaching the listener to the ExoPlayer instance to capture button clicks. Now, the user should handle the button clicks within the listener. For example, when the next button is clicked, the user can call the seek to next method to play the next video in the playlist. Additionally, the user can implement similar methods for the previous rewind and forward buttons. Each method should control the playback accordingly. Finally, the user should test the implementation to ensure that all buttons work as expected. This includes verifying that the next and previous videos play correctly. Fun fact, did you know that ExoPlayer is used by some of the biggest streaming services out there? It's a powerful tool, and with the right setup, you can make it work wonders for your app. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative solution comes from a user who suggests using a specific GitHub link to customize ExoPlayer for handling previous and next events. They mention that you can implement your own logic to track these events effectively. Now let's shift our focus to a different response. This user suggests an approach where you first create a collection of media sources, such as Dash or HLS. They recommend using the simple ExoPlayer view component, which includes default controls for previous and next actions. To manage media sources, you can use the ExoPlayer.getCurrentWindowIndex method to navigate back and forth. Additionally, you can track the current index by implementing the onTracksChanged method. For further implementation details, you can refer to the playback control view file in the ExoPlayer GitHub repository. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative approach suggests adding an ExoPlayer listener to handle playback events. You can use constants from the playback state compact class to identify actions like fast forwarding or rewinding. In this listener, you can override the onPlayerStateChanged method to check for specific playback states like skipping to next or previous. This allows you to perform actions based on user interactions. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to add a custom control dispatcher to intercept ExoPlayer's control UI events. This can be done by setting a custom control dispatcher to your player view. In the custom control dispatcher, you can override methods like dispatch fast forward and dispatch rewind to perform specific actions when these buttons are pressed. This allows you to listen for each control event individually. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative approach shared by another user involves implementing your own logic to track rewind and forward events in ExoPlayer. They found success using a specific method linked in their response. 
Here's the pro tip I promised. Always test your controls thoroughly. Make sure each button responds as expected and consider adding visual feedback to enhance user experience. And there you have it. With these steps, your EXO player should now respond perfectly to next, previous, rewind, and forward events. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.